Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your network, fix all of your ping issues, packet loss, latency and improve the overall internet connection for Valorant episode 9 act 2. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and let's get started with the intro. Number one is the most important one that is control panel settings and for that head over to control panel on your PC and once you're here click on network and internet then network and sharing center and then you'll find your ethernet I highly recommend you guys to use an ethernet cable from your router to your PC to make sure that you're getting the lowest ping possible wireless connection are really good but then once again it adds up to your ping if you have an ethernet cable click on it and then head over to properties and then you'll find internet protocol version 4 double click on that and you'll find use the following dns server addresses simply type in 8.8.8.8 .8 and for alternate addresses you can type in 8.8.4.4 once you do that simply click on ok then click on ok once again head over to properties then click on configure and then head over to power management and make sure to deselect allow the computer to turn off this device to save power this will help you to improve your packet loss in case if this is turned on your pc will automatically shut down ethernet when it is consumed a lot then head over to advanced settings over here and then copy the exact same settings for the ethernet controller Once you with all of these settings, click on OK and then click on Close and this is how you set up your Ethernet cable for gaming. Step number 2 is Firewall settings and for that simply search for Allow an app through Windows Firewall, click on Enter. Then click on Change settings over here and then click on Allow another app. Over here, click on the Browse button and then go to the install location of Valorant. Once you're in the folder, head over to Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64 and you'll have to add the Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe in this list. Click on add. It is already added for me. So you can simply search for V and you'll find Valorant right over here. Click on both private and public sector right away and then click on allow another app. Click on browse then go back to Valorant live and you'll find Valorant.exe. Click on open and then click on add. You have it right over here. Click on both private and public over here as well and you're good to go. Next step is open a device manager over here and then you have to click on your network adopters. You'll find your ethernet controller right over here. Right click on that and then click on update driver. Then simply click on search automatically for drivers and make sure that it is already up to date. Next step is downloading no ping on your PC. This is a super helpful tool that allows you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers, reducing all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more. You can simply download this for free from the link in the description below. And this application will open right in front of you. It offers you over 300 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Valorant in this list and then click on select the server. Once you are here, you have to scroll down and find the nearest server to you with the lowest amount of ping possible. For me, here is a Mumbai server which are really close to me and once I click on optimize this game, it will one click optimize the game. The best part about no ping is the settings here over here which offers you turbo games for user input latency and then the boost fps section wherein if you enable all of these options you can also increase fps in the game right away. I highly recommend you guys to go check out no ping, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for your local disk C, click on create and name it something to remember it from. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next is the Valorant Episode 9 Actual Network Optimization Pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In here you'll find in 5 simple folders. First one is a registry optimization in which I have left a few registries that will help you to optimize your PC for Valorant and gaming in general. You have to double click on all of them. If you're curious to know what the settings are being changed, you can simply edit this in notepad and see the services that are being disabled. Next is network optimization in which I have left the network optimization pad.exe. 
Simply right click and run this as administrator and it will run a batch of commands that are actually beneficial to optimize your PC. Third is the batch tweaks in which I have left BCD edit tweaks, disable memory compression, disable process mitigation and latency tweaks for user input latency as well. You have to right click on all of them as administrator and once again you can see in the notepad what other settings that it is changing. It will automatically run all of these commands so you do not have to run them manually. Next is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard latency fix. For that I'd recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be replying to you which one that you have to choose in this list. Next is the mouse latency in which I have left disable pointer precision and if you're using a mouse trackpad do not disable this on a laptop but if you have an external mouse you can disable pointer precision globally and then the fix mouse delays it will actually set up your coordinates for your mouse optimizing the mouse drag on your PC. Last is the Valorant priority and over here I recommend you guys to use high priority on your PC and see if that is giving you extra FPS or not. This will optimize your game for better consumption of power and network to fix all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and input delay right away on your PC. Once that is done you can simply close the FPS pack and drop into the game and let me know if that helps you out or not. That was it for this video guys, I hope it helped you out, if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also if you haven't checked out channel membership, they are already out and they really support me. So consider being the member of this channel. I'll see you guys in another amazing video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.